a juggler like it. Kelsey Strauch here, who we should mention is juggling on stilts, is exactly the sort of performer you'd expect to find under the big top. The circus ringmaster, who's been talking to contributor Scott Simon of NPR, is another. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What does a kid who wants to run away to join the circus do these days? Kevin Bernardos created his own. With all my heart, I proudly give you my own Bernardos Circus! In a time when circus dreams are dying, he's brought one to life. It's not a huge circus yet, but it's the little circus for the great big dreams. It's a craft, it's an art that we practice from the heart. But at first, that great big dream was just a little hocus pocus. I actually made a video uh, that I shot inside of a rented tent. The entire production, even though I think it looks like a million bucks, uh, it was held together with duct tape and gum and a lot of Hail Marys behind the scenes. This is long before I actually had anything of my own at all. It's like, yeah, I got that circus. Just sign here, we got a contract. I'll go find out how to make it. Every feat is a treat. Hold your seat and lose your inhibition. In 2014, their first year, Kevin Bernardo's put on just one show. Some really? people call it juggling. I call it struggling. <laughs> Things are looking up. Over the next year and a half, his Bernardo Circus will visit some 20 cities. Thank you for coming. The whole circus fits inside of this 28-foot box. Who drives? I do. Uh -huh. As beautiful. for Kevin, he fits into a 32-foot long trailer that he calls home wherever they are. I can stand up in here. That's a huge advantage. Oh my god, you yeah, being that six problem, four. don't you? Yeah. The show usually runs in one ring in an open field. But we caught up with the Bernardo Circus as they prepared to open inside the Alabama Contemporary Art Center in Mobile. The performers usually change from town to town, but Bernardo's make sure the mix in each show features acts of skill in the air, daring on the ground, and of course, the unexpected. Were you the kind of kid who grew up wanting to run off and join the circus? Circus was not on my radar. I loved Broadway. Went to Ithaca College, studied musical theater, and came back to New York, and a random audition, just like dozens of others, mm -hmm. happened to pan out. Which is how, at the age of 22, Kevin Vernardos became one of the youngest ringmasters in the history of the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. I lived on a train. I lived on a train. It was then the largest privately owned train in the world hauling elephants, clowns, tigers, props, tent poles, and trapeze artists from coast to coast. Kevin's proud father often joined him. He loved trains, and we spent my entire childhood and all of his childhood building H.O. Gage model railroads in the basement of our house. Kevin's father made home movies of life aboard that circus train with professional skill. Five o'clock Tuesday afternoon, we're stopped in Olathe, Kansas. As usual, we don't know why we're stopped. For 30 years, Lane Venardos was a beloved producer and executive with CBS News. In the five years that I spent there on the road, he was with me for at least a year of that time. He'd come out and spend a month and then a month. He spent tens of thousands of dollars over the course of his time there buying tickets to the circus to give to friends. Lane Venardos died in 2011 just 67 years of age. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for being a part of the greatest show on earth. Kevin Bernardos loved being ringmaster, but he left Ringling Brothers after five years. I never liked thinking that someone else had in their control my future, uh, the future of my dreams, so. You no, know, I feel like there should be music playing what to cover while you stand down here. I, mean, I, I would have to create my own operation, and so here we are. If you had a great time, Tell all of your friends. Seriously, it makes a huge difference. If there aren't butts in the seats, there's no way we can make magic and wonder. So keeping that part alive and being involved in that, there are forces, there are giant forces that have pressed on my life because the only way to learn to do things is to fall on your, your butt and mm -hmm. make mistakes. Even homelessness at, at short moments along the way. Homeless, mm. a homeless ringmaster. 
I bought a house in Las Vegas with all of my life savings after Ringling Brothers in 2005. Yeah. Within about six months, it was worth about half of what I had paid for it. Mm -hmm. And that started a kind of tailspin of depression, which ultimately led to, it led to me declaring bankruptcy at one point. Mm -hmm. And everything seemed to cave in. And so I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to it. Here. All right, I'm gonna. It doesn't have spangles, <laughs> but. Uh... It's, it's just bound to happen. It's the Bernardo's way. Which in a way is the story of the circus, even if it can be packed into a 28 foot long truck on any night. It can be put together to become the greatest show on earth. I'm building something out of just a dream and an idea, but I believe in it with all my heart and I know that with time, it will continue to grow. Is Bernardo Circus the kind of place that a kid can run away to and join? I am absolutely counting on it. <laughs> if you want to be a part of it, just give me a call. Yeah. You better reach for the sky.